What's up guys, hope you're all well. It's Nathan from UK DC. I'm just gonna be having a little look at this Benchmade Mini Bug Out clone what I got from AliExpress a couple of weeks ago. Cost me about 13 pounds with free delivery. Took about three weeks to get here, but it's worth it. Just looking over the boxes, quite a lot of detail. Um, it's pretty well made. So just opening the box up, you can see it comes with a few goodies. It's even got a little care manual telling you how to clean and lubricate and sharpen it. It's obviously fake, but I think it's pretty good that they've put this much uh, effort into it. Also got this Axis Mechanics um, tab just explaining how to carry it whether you're right or left handed. And finally in the box you've got this little carry pouch. Um, nothing much to say about it really. And lastly in the box you've just got a, a thin foam layer. In the genuine ones you've got like a, like a styrofoam kind of moulded uh, bottom to it. But enough of that, let's get to the, the meat and veg. So there it is sports fans, tidy little knife. It's got a nice little lanyard hoop and a deep carry pocket clip. As you can see it's pretty centered as well, which is always a good sign. I did do a little bit of uh, fine tuning into it before I did this video, put a little bit of oil on it. Say an S30V, I doubt it is, but who knows. And on the other side, it's got a Benchmade engraved logo. I've got a few fidgety knives, but I think this one definitely is my most fidgety friendly one. Obviously in England, it'd be illegal to carry this without good reason. So unfortunately, 99% of the time, it's just by my desk and opening boxes in my house. I've seen a few other YouTubers doing this little test, comparing it to the original one, and I think both do flex a little bit, I mean, it's made out of plastic at the end of the day, and I think for what it is, it's, it's a really robust, strong knife. As I said before, it's super fidgety, I literally sit for hours doing this, but it is good for breaking the knife in and getting it nice and smooth, so... Also, this knife weighs about 42 grams, and that's about 1.5 ounce for my American friends. Here's a nice close-up of the knife. It's not immaculate, but like I said, I've had this a couple of weeks now, so I've been using it a bit. If you're enjoying these videos, if you'd consider subscribing and liking, it makes a massive difference. Now, this thing came pretty sharp, but I'd, I'd give it a go on my workshop. I've got a little tip coming up in a future video how to get your knives razor sharp because when I first got my work sharp I was rubbish at it. Yeah, I think I'm enjoying this a little bit too much. I'm genuinely quite proud though how sharp I've actually managed to get it compared to my sharpening skills about a week ago. You can see here it easily shaves theirs, so it's sharp enough for me. And that's it guys, that's the review. And lastly, these are just a few of my uh, Leatherman products, uh, what I want to be reviewing in some upcoming videos. It'd be rude not to do one on the Wave. Also shout out to Sterlo for 3D printing me them little thumb studs, appreciate that mate. Again, thanks a lot and I'll see you on the next one. Peace.